A female passenger has been killed in southern India after two bombs exploded on a train. Nine other people were injured in the blasts at Chennai railway station. Two passengers are being treated for serious injuries. No one has claimed responsibility for the attack. Let's go straight to our correspondent, Sohail Rahman. He's joining us live uh, from New Delhi now. So what more can you tell us about this? Yes, this was the... Uh, Bangalore to Guwahati Express and was expected to arrive in Chennai at 5.30 local time. It arrived roughly two hours late at quarter past seven and depending on how you read the situation it's perhaps a blessing uh, even though those bombs went off just as the train pulled in to the platform. The emergency services were on the scene very quickly to get those injured to hospital. Had those explosions happened in the countryside miles away from the railway station, I think that death toll would have been much higher. We are getting confirmed now that one dead, a 22-year-old woman named as Swati, she comes from the town of Vijaywada on the eastern uh, coast of India, 14 injured in what police are describing as two low-intensity blasts that occurred in two sleeper carriages, S4 and S5, uh, of this train, which was heading towards northeast of the country. Now, the railways minister has informed everybody in a very early press conference that the National Investigation Agency, along with railway police, will now lead the investigation. The Chennai Central Railway Station and the platform where this train is now parked up has been cordoned off for those forensic teams to begin their investigation. But as yet, there's no clear clarification as to what the nature of those explosions were and what explosives might have been used. Nobody is pointing the finger of blame at anybody at the moment. But uh, in terms of the investigation that continues while uh, the injured are, are being looked after, Elizabeth. Thank you very much. So that's Sohail Rahman joining us from the capital, New Delhi.